put away your phone, learn your brisket, and be ready to stand for eight hours with no lunch break. It takes more than just making sure those bathrooms are spotless to work at Bucky's. Are you friendly and eager to lend a helping hand? Then you should have no trouble getting a job at your neighborhood Bucky's. Welcome to Bucky's. Welcome, Welcome to Bucky's. Welcome to Bucky's. According to Klein, applicants aren't required to have much experience in order to secure employment. Besides maybe a high school diploma, potential candidates can woo the recruiter with a few simple traits, an upbeat attitude, a strong work ethic, and plenty of flexibility. Many Bucky's alumni who've posted on Indeed agreed that the hiring process is fairly routine for a service gig. Applicants are contacted by management to set up an interview to determine if the individual is a good fit for the team. If selected, they'll complete a background check and drug test. Depending on the particular circumstances, candidates might even go through multiple interviews before finding out if they got the job. Like most entry-level positions, going from the interview to wearing the badge is also quick. Climb reports a couple of days on average, but some employees allege scoring the role in 24 hours. With a gift associate writing on Indeed, you spend about nine hours training on a computer, and then you are officially an employee. A single Bucky's location can house as many as 250 team members under its roof to keep up with the influx of customers and daily tasks. As General Manager Floyd Freeman tells Alabama Living, it takes an army to keep Bucky's operating 24-7. While it can be overwhelming, the plus side is that it can also be rewarding, since there are constantly co-workers around. If expanding your social circle is a goal, it'll definitely happen at Bucky's. Taking into account the convenience store's astronomical measurements, it's no wonder the chain maintains a fleet of hired hands to perform the necessary, if not adrenaline-packed, tasks that a bustling theme park-esque rest stop like Bucky's is capable of demanding. In this economy, the federal minimum wage is downright paltry at $7.25 per hour, as listed by the U.S. Department of Labor. Bucky's workers, on the other hand, can make double that amount. In 2021, Estonia reported that wages started at $14 an hour for cashiers or gift associates, complete with opportunities for advancement to higher paying roles and that figure increased to $15 or $16 in 2022. Bucky's takes pride in its attractive compensation, as evidenced by the signs hanging throughout the store advertising each position's hourly expectations. To keep current workers on board as well, as draw new faces into the hiring pool, General Counsel Jeff Nadalo emphasizes the importance of keeping wages competitive, saying, we have to look at a business plan that serves the customer but also provides an environment where employees are going to want to stay and will encourage career development. Clearly, a good paycheck matters to just about any worker in any field, and plenty of Bucky's employees cite the high pay as a prime incentive to work there. If there's one thing that might make you reconsider working at Bucky's, it's the high turnover rate. According to the Washington Post, poor management, rigid policies, and exhausting working conditions have come under scrutiny by workers who claim the company drives them away. People who have worked at Bucky's express more than just indifference upon leaving their jobs. Take this account from a former cashier posting on Indeed. They work the heck out of good employees until they quit and then borderline shun them for it. Add in surveillance cameras and signage reading, don't forget who pays you, and it isn't so surprising that people would flee. They definitely have a, a, a higher expectation and, you know, that probably, you know, ties into, you know, why they do uh, pay a little bit more. Even after boasting generous wages and a 401k plan, Bucky's struggles to match its employee-friendly image when its evident hirees would much prefer taking their labor elsewhere. The retailer's Indeed profile shows a 2.7 star average from over 800 reviews. According to a merchandise team leader, don't expect any lulls or low peaks at this 24-7 rest stop. As they wrote on Indeed, you will stay busy for your entire eight-hour shift. As anyone who visits Bucky's can confirm, a normal part of the experience is seeing employees hard at work in their respective departments. Keeping the store's metaphorical engine running 
means there's not a minute for workers to spare or let up on their duties. Remaining open for long stretches of time essentially demands a non-stop stream of labor. As such, workers endure a lot of pressure while on the job. To give outsiders a sense of just how much staff members hustle around the clock, take this little fact nugget from Alabama Living. A location in Baldwin County allegedly receives shipments every single hour. Although Bucky's is one of the few retail establishments that advertises 40-hour work weeks, the chain isn't exactly consistent with scheduling. One Indeed review revealed employees often work past their shift when there's not enough staff to cover the load. However, Bucky's will shave off the extra time from their next shift to keep their hours below the threshold for providing full-time benefits. It's also not unheard of for Bucky's employees to clock in more than just the standard eight hours. One individual who posted Bucky's work schedule wrote, "These shift guidelines are never followed." and you can guarantee that you'll be there for more than 10 hours at a time. Eight hours doesn't seem so bad in a vacuum, but multiplied by seven consecutive days of standing on your feet nonstop? Well, you can bet even the most chipper busy beaver would be wiped out. Former and current employees alike have attested to receiving as little as five minutes to collect themselves during a whole shift. According to one Reddit commenter, the chain doesn't provide restroom breaks, lunch breaks, or even a break room for employees to temporarily kick their feet up. Eight hours of work in exchange for a lunch break is a widely accepted norm in retail work these days. However, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration writes that employers don't have to provide these benefits, or at the very least won't face trouble from the federal government for refusing. So technically, Bucky's is able to get away with skimping on time off. In addition to short breaks, Bucky's does not allow its employees to sit down. With another Reddit user commenting, they get a 5 to 10 minute personal moment where they're allowed to eat standing up at a table in the back. A cashier alleged that even getting a chance to use the restrooms could be a struggle. They told the Washington Post, I've asked some time to go to the bathroom, and it's been a couple hours before I'm allowed to go. Texas Monthly writes that phones are strictly off-limits for employees, and that rule takes effect the moment workers clock in. It's a long-standing policy that, if violated, could get workers terminated on the spot. Of course, it makes sense that a retailer would enforce rules surrounding phone usage. But at the same time, banishing phones from the premises has been a hassle for employees who need to make childcare arrangements or tend to personal responsibilities. As one food service associate wrote on Simply Hired, your family has no means of contacting you the entire time you are at work, even if it's a life or death emergency situation. Surprisingly, workers aren't the only ones expected to grind off the grid. Per Bucky's, it axed phone lines from stores years ago due to the inconvenience caused by workers answering the calls, and customer inquiries are now taken through the website. As the Nashville Ledger writes, employees are hired specifically to clean, scrub, and polish every toilet bowl at Bucky's until it sparkles. Furthermore, according to the St. Augustine record, workers are assigned to monitor the restrooms on a 24-hour basis, ensuring that the cleanliness the chain successfully markets is always on display. You know, we, uh, we try real hard to keep the bathrooms as clean as we can cl keep them. And I think we do a pretty good job. When Bucky's won Cinta's coveted best bathroom in America back in 2012, it was the hardworking Bucky's staff who received a shout out for a well deserved victory, with market development official Gary Gonzaba raving Whenever I go here, there's always someone, seemingly right behind me, cleaning up. Bucky's is adamant that its workforce presents a clean-cut image, which is why when walking into one of its locations, you won't see body piercings or ripped jeans on anyone wearing a name tag. Strict dress codes aren't unusual in the world of retail, but Bucky's enforces some staggeringly rigid rules on personal appearance that might not register to visitors passing through. Bucky's dress code is posted on its website, listing open-toed footwear, unnatural hair dyes, and disheveled attire as being firmly prohibited by the company. According to Texas Monthly, male employees can't grow out their hair, and Indeed reports that ear piercings are the only valid body modification, assuming that they're single studs in the earlobe. The store bars tattoos that are visible, and as far as facial hair goes, it's better to play it safe, according to another commenter on Indeed. Beards are acceptable, 
but keep it neat. From the moment you approach Bucky's Texas Roundup, you'll see pitmasters wearing cowboy hats while wrangling slab after slab of smoked meat. While the chain keeps the process under wraps, the Nashville Ledger reports that there's plenty of evidence to suggest the standards are astronomically high for any worker wielding the knife. Food Network reports that Randy Polly, the company's director of barbecue who oversees the Daytona Beach store, has a resume that includes eight world championship wins, a telling sign that Bucky's takes its barbecue extremely seriously. Nice job, brisket on the board! Oh, look at that! By that logic, the company isn't afraid to invest time into employees to truly let their skills marinate, even with lots of practice, become the reigning kings of the grill. Austonia writes that Bucky's has been known to promote workers from within encouraging retention by making the store atmosphere a place team members can enjoy long term. Simply put, there's a lot of potential for lower rung hires seeking out a higher station at the company. Operations District Manager Mandy Carlisle reveals that it took six years as a cashier to eventually land the corporate role they're in today. With Mandy writing in a testimonial for the company's website, I believe I am an example of what job opportunities are available to all employees at Bucky's. Even with these rosy promises of career advancement, the reality isn't always so pretty. One Indeed comment attests to management favoring certain people for promotions, while another claims job growth is a rare occurrence. In fact, some employees accuse the chain of choosing to hire outside the company, rather than granting an existing worker a new title. Should you violate the terms of your Bucky's contract, you just might land in a heap of legal trouble. In 2016, a former assistant manager was sued by Bucky's for over $67,000 after breaking their agreement early. The Houston Chronicle writes that because the employee quit a year prior to the original agreement, they would need to pay the company back the retention pay that was included in their salary. Hence the lawsuit's eye-popping sum. Retention pay is a method of compensation provided by a company to motivate long-term employment, according to the McKinney Law Firm, PC. For a business like Bucky's to mandate such strict conditions is unusual. Not only did the employee's contract demand six months advance notice for leaving before the agreed-upon time frame, but the chain expected a refund of the retention pay accrued during their tenure if they bailed prematurely. Initially, the employee lost the case and was handed a $100,000 bill for Bucky's side. However, the Texas Court of Appeals reversed the ruling in 2017, forcing Bucky's to cough up the amount to the affected employee instead. Considering they were hired on an at-will basis, the San Antonio Employment Law Blog argues the original agreement was out of bounds with the employee's role and therefore unreasonable for Bucky's to enforce.